Learning should be an interactive, engaging, enjoyable experience. There are a ton of resources out there that tell you what to learn, but I wanted to build something that shows you how to use it. Something that makes you feel like you're actually inside your own hacker workspace. I built PowerShell for hackers to make learning hacking in PowerShell more real and more hands-on. The entire site is designed to look and feel like a Windows desktop. You can open tools, drag windows, play games, change your wallpaper. It's all interactive. It's not just a website, it's a hacker's environment built right in your browser. A gamified learning experience where you can win real prizes like a trip to DEF CON 2026. I'll go over how to win that in a little bit. Creating an account takes seconds. You sign in, choose your hacker handle, and just like that you have your own profile. From here you can see all the XP and badges you earned, you can use your custom link or button to refer friends, and you can even create your own team and have up to 10 members to compete in future CTF challenges and earn team badges as well. From the minute you first log in, you start earning XP. Visiting pages, using tools, playing games. Notice the little XP animation at the bottom right corner of your screen as you navigate to those certain pages. You can only earn XP for a page once per day, but you can come back every day. You can gain XP for daily logins, even login streaks, and playing games as well. And remember those referrals? You get 200 XP for each of the first 10 and 50 after that. As you level up, you unlock badges, milestones that mark your progress, and then you have these membership tiers that give multipliers. These are just small boosts for the community members who want to support the project. So let's look at these memberships more. Memberships are a way to support the project while unlocking a few perks in return. Keep in mind, everything on the site, the tools, the games, the blog posts, and the tutorials will stay free forever. The tiers just give small boosts, extra recognition, and insider access for those who want to go a little deeper. There are three membership tiers, User, Admin, and System. User is the entry point, $5 a month and you get the supporter badge, access to the private chat, and a 1.2 times multiplier on all XP and raffle tickets. It's the simple way to back the project and still stay part of the core community. Admin is for the ones who like being ahead of the curve. $20 a month unlocks a 1.5 times multiplier, early access to new tools, and behind the scenes updates. It's the tier where you start seeing what's being built before everyone else. System is the elite tier, $50 a month and it comes with a glowing badge, two times multipliers, and access to the sponsors only tools and APIs. System members also get invited to private Q&A sessions and their names are featured on the Hall of Sponsors page in recognition of their direct impact on keeping the platform alive. Each tier builds on the one before it. The higher your tier, the more you accelerate your growth, and the greater your odds in giveaways, again like the DEF CON trip. From there, you can dive into tools, payloads, games, and tips. The tools are practical generators, encoders, and payload builders you can actually use to experiment in safe labs and implement in actual engagements. Just a quick demo to show you how cool they can be. First, we will generate an obfuscated reverse shell. Just input an IP address and port. We can then take this obfuscated code and hide it in the pixels of an image. This stage will output a command used to pull it back out of the pixels and execute it. We will then take that command and hide it inside of an emoji. So now we have a picture of a cat with a hidden shell and an emoji with a hidden run command. PowerShell is indeed pretty powerful. Check out the payload dashboard for ready to go snippets and payload ideas, organized by technique and use cases. These are PowerShell payloads that I use on the regular, and some of them are the actual PowerShell code behind the tools that I just showed you. Then there are the games. These are small focus challenges that make learning fundamentals actually fun. Right now, there are just two, the port quiz, which drills you on network ports and guess the output, where you identify what PowerShell commands really do. They're built to sharpen recall and intuition through repetition, streaks, and some friendly competition. 
More mini games are on the way, each one designed to teach key hacking and PowerShell concepts in an interactive, memorable way. And the tips page is full of bite-sized lessons and quick references you can actually use and easily cycle through to hunt for inspiration. This isn't code that would constitute a full script, just again, little tidbits to hopefully inspire ideas in you. There's also a modules page listing the PowerShell modules I've built and released, tools I use every day, Cloudflare helpers for tunneling, out-of-band listeners, Chrome driver installers for browser automation, and map helpers and more. Each module includes an install module command, a readme with examples and usage notes and compatibility details so you can drop them into a lab quickly and safely. I'll be publishing short YouTube demos showing off how each module works in practice and over time there will be a dedicated walkthrough video for every module so you can watch the workflow, see example commands, and learn how I use them in real tasks. In the coming months, I'll publish structured courses, modular hands-on training that covers practical red team techniques. Expect guided labs, quick assessments, and exercises you can run locally. Curriculum focused on usable skills, not just theory. This is just a mock-up page for now, but I wanted you to be able to get a vision about what is coming. And finally, the part that you've been waiting for. One of this year's prizes is a trip to DEF CON 2026 made possible by our sponsor ThreatLocker. But the story behind it is personal. You see, in 2023, another hacker I know, Zishano, personally gave me $2,000 so I could go to DEF CON. That gift changed everything and inspired me to find a way to pay it forward. I spent years grinding to get to a place where I could do this for someone else, and I am truly grateful. So thanks to both ThreatLocker and Zishano, one of you will be heading to DEF CON on us. If you can, follow them both on Twitter and tell them the community says thank you. This project wouldn't be where it is today without ThreatLocker. Over the past year, I've had the chance to work with them a few times on tests, demos and videos, and they're the team that actually beat my polymorphic reverse shell during one of our sessions. That kind of engagement and technical rigor matters. ThreatLocker isn't just a logo on a page, they've been an active partner, and their support is the main reason this site has gotten this far, and why we can run real giveaways like the DEFCON 2026 giveaway. You may have seen me collaborate with ThreatLocker and other hackers like David Bomble and the Homsec in recent videos. Those conversations help shape a lot of what this site does now. So a huge thanks to ThreatLocker for backing PowerShellForHackers.com. I appreciate you. I also wanted to do an additional shout out for a new friend I've made recently named Stoob. They just in the last week reported a bug on my site that was indeed critical. They were wildly professional and kind, and I just want to emphasize how appreciated they are. They are officially the first person on the website to receive the Bug Hunter badge for disclosing a vulnerability. Please feel free to also follow them on Twitter and show some love. PowerShell for Hackers is built solely for educational awareness and research purposes. The content, tools, and demonstrations provided here are intended to help security professionals and learners understand attacker tradecraft so they can defend against real world threats. Remember, I am Jacoby. My crime is that of curiosity. Yeah, curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought him back. See you on the desktop.